years old, my grandfather started uh, taking me always in the vineyards. Every second Sunday, he would come, knock the door and say, would you come with me? And there was no pressure. And so I eased into, into the wine industry uh, at a very early stage, and I'm extremely thankful for that. The first one, you have to create a style for yourself in order to be different from the rest of the pack, because the world is full of great wine, the world is full of opportunities, and uh, the more unique you are in terms of the style of the liquid in the bottle, the packaging, and the way how you market the wines, the more chance you have to be, to be very, very special and perceived by the consumer as, as something aspirational. Number two, equally important, is to follow that plan and to pay attention to every little detail making this wine. Because a thousand hands touch um, the wine until it reaches your glass at the consumer level and a lot of things can go wrong. From planting a vineyard, waiting three years to make the first grapes, then crushing, pressing, then waiting another two years for maturation in the barrels and everything. So you have four, five, six years. And in that, that uh, period, a lot of things can happen. And number three, I would think is consistency. A consistent approach. So consistent approach, that means you, you have your style of your wine, you cannot alter the style of the wine every year. You have to follow that sort of, of personal style, which is basically done by the terroir, but it's also done by the climate, but also by your personality, because that the three elements uh, wine is, is made of. And then you, you just have to do it over and over again. When you are tired of doing every year the same, then you have a chance that the consumer is listening to you. Um, when you are tired of innovating and always doing this one little thing uh, with your product, then um, you have a chance that the consumer is going to have this desire to, to, to get under the skin of what you're doing. If we keep stubborn like an ox going in that direction, wherever you go in Europe. So China makes the headlines almost on a daily basis. For the next 10, 15 years, I have no doubt that we will remain at the top of China and remain also on, on the table with the fine wines.